Jones and Robert Young were. The whole time, you realize when you hear the stories of, you know, even apocryphal, essentially false stories like, uh, you know, of uh, Steven Spielberg climbing over a fence, pretending like he had an office and acting like a director on the lot. And you yeah, think like, yeah. wow, what must that have been like? How did he pull that off? What gumption? You know, that's exactly these are those days of new media. And 20 years from now, we could be telling this insane story of 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 how we faked our way until we made it. You know what I mean? And and, that's, and people will be able to to watch it, you know, in the same way that people were able to, you know, in in you know, fucking it was like three years since Wikipedia was invented that somebody set up an improv fucking resource wiki and we were able to find out which fucking sketch comedy group I was in in 2005. You know, now we've come so far with live streaming that people are going to be able to see this, us talking about how it's weird that you'll be able to see and talk about it. Um, so, like, all right, real quick, people are asking over and over and over again uh, how NSW came to be on Twit. Yeah. And there's there's a slightly interesting story to that in that, uh, for those who don't know, and, and it's funny to even say, like, all the players now, because, you know, the biggest player of this whole story of it is no longer at Twin. Um, but uh, at, at oh, this yeah. point... No, I... We, point, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Me and Brian are doing an SFW show. Yeah, no, a BB Live show. Yeah. And we're just fucking tickled whenever we can... We can you know, just nibble the balls of fucking like you know, a hundred. First it was like a hundred viewers, then it was oh, like two hundred viewers, yes. then it was like four hundred viewers. Um, we got three hundred viewers tonight. What? And we're just freaking out, and whenever like I think the first time that we kind of built the the, the playbook of the, the the demon hordes element of chat realm was that dig night, that game night. Yeah. Uh, thing when Jay where Addison was, came and joined us, it was amazing. Yeah. Where it was, it was, it was really crazy. And then around that time, Colleen had really fought for you to be on Twit. Right. That while well, you were coming out to shoot more Scam School episodes, that you should come on Twit. And that went well. And I think it was on your, maybe was it your second or third appearance that Leo started talking to you about doing some kind of funny how fucking, you know, everything old is new again. Yeah, right? <laughs> talking to you about a video game show. Well, and, and his point was, uh, was you know, well, you know, a lot of people want us to do a game show, but gaming's too fractious. You got people who like different styles. It's hard to corral them all into a thing. And, and my pitch to him was, well, what if it was a show about, not about games, but for gamers, for the type of things that gamers, sort of a, a drive time show you would listen to while you're on a World of Warcraft Rave, you know, where, where you speak the shorthand of, well, of well, games. Well, hold on. That actually, by my memory... That's was, your line. That's your line. No, no, no. But yes, yes. No, no, no. Not, not to say it was my line, but that, that was part of the discussions we had afterward. The first, the first discussion was you saying, yeah, a game show. I would love to be a part of it. I have a great idea for a video game show. And then you called me and you said... Listen, I just got off Twit, and I told Leo I had a great idea for a video game show. <laughs> so <laughs> let's think of a video game show. <laughs> and so knowing that Leo had the, the the problem, the mental block about, hey, we don't want to do a video game show where we, you know, if you only talk ten percent about consoles and ten percent about PCs and ten percent about yada yada yada, uh, that you're only if you're a, a listener, you're a viewer, you're only going to want ten percent of the show. Um, so the, the idea was let's be the drive time radio. And also the other part of it was how do we do something, the kind of stuff that we really love what we're doing on BB live show. How do we do BB live show on the next level? And right. so with this opportunity, so we're just, we're trying to carve. And keep in mind, this. keep in mind the name NSFW was not in any way proposed to be, there was no like, Hey, I want to do a BB Live show on your show, and I want to call it NSFW. It was two separate discussions where it's like we were talking about what what they could do to get the gaming audience or whatever that is in their, in our discussion. And randomly, I said, you know what I always thought would be a good name for a show is NSFW because like the name itself would be a warning on, on onto the content. And yeah. he's like, oh, okay, great. And then like a month later, I get word from Danger Dane Golden, well, like, well, we'd like. Uh, We'd like to see a proposal for NSFW. 
And I was like, uh, in a separate area, the, the show you talked about with, uh, with Leo. And I was just like, oh, oh, and, okay, all right. You know, meanwhile, I'm, you know, and, and I lobbied early on to, to call it BB Live Show. Just say, look, let's just have a BB Live Show. Because, I mean, no, yes. you know, if for no other reason than because that certainly was good for me and my ego and my persona, persona or whatever. Absolutely. You know? And I very much fought for an SFW show <laughs> because I could own half of an SFW show. There you go. I can't own half of BB Live Exactly. Show. I can own 49% of BB Live Show. <laughs> I can own damn near close to half of BB Live Show. I can't own half of BB Live Show. I can own half of an SFW. Exactly. Um, so, uh, now, so, I, I, yeah, I so, want so to point we... out, as people are saying in the chat room, nobody fought harder for Brian and nobody fought harder for me. And believe you me, those are two separate arguments um, than Colleen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Colleen, Digital Kitty, at Digital Kitty. Um, if you guys want to, I don't know that if you all fired off 10 thank you tweets to her, that you would quite have done enough to express the affection. Uh, that, uh, that we have for, for what she, I mean, she believed in us and fought upstream. I mean, she fought upstream for me to get me on to it even to begin with. Uh, yeah. and luckily I was able to prove my tech bona fides when I was there. Um, but then, and then, and then again, for, for she was the one who pushed through getting, she recognized that NSFW is a video show and she's the one who, we were the first video feed show because she knew that we were video and she needed to set it all up. Yeah. Um, she, you know, was was very, very, very crucial to, to everything, and she fought for us. And and she, uh, you know, I know specifically in, in conversations I've I've had with her, she's been very generous about, you know, she she said that you know that she thought that the you know the that that Brian was a huge discovery for Twit, and and you know, and then later said the same about me, and and, and you know, I, I very much, uh, I I know that. Especially for the tech audience, uh, I'm not the easiest sell when I'm doing the NSFW BB Live Show stuff, and, and Colleen certainly saw saw through some of the saw through the jackassery, and uh, and you know I really I owe her I owe her quite a lot. So um, that's basically uh, you know so initially we were basically trying to make it into a more video game centric kind of show uh and then eventually we just kind of realized like once we kind of got our bunk assignment like we just realized like no one was going to watch us uh -huh. so we're like well let's just do nsf let's just do bb live show until they tell us to stop yeah that that is kind of that is kind of what happened because it was like we're like well what do we do and they're like oh let's just do let's just do our thing let's just do play to our strengths because well, uh, we sent like all these pitches and all these bit ideas and they were all like like me and Brian and especially even at We should that find time that document. We should find that original pitch document. Because there's like, an we, idea we in there that both, we that we didn't know, do. Oh go ahead. It was right after I had been doing the G four stuff and it was right in the middle of, of some T V pitches for you. Like we were both in a very like T V pitch, T V universe kind of mindset and so we pitched stuff to twit in the same way that you would pitch a small television show and and down to the ideas where we like we pitched them like three ideas and we were like to ourselves it's like okay well this is the very video game one this is kind of a half and half video gamey kind of bit idea and this is a fucking bb live show fucking around on the internet idea so it's like let's see how they react and like if they like the video game one then we know we have to do it but if they like the bb live show one then we know that we can just do that and uh the response we got back was these are great and we're like well <laughs> yes that is exactly how it was and we're like well shit let's just do the one we're most comfortable with and now we're writing another bit like that and so and on and on and on um yeah yeah dude i forgot all about that i i should dig up the actual document there was one of the pitches on there was uh was that we didn't didn't even end up doing uh i remember am i a troll was in the original pitch and um uh the autocomplete was yes and uh um the substitute the word balls one which balls we didn't was, use which we didn't use until like 10 episodes ago we were like 90 episodes before we used that one 
was Pone Jury in the pitch thing? Because that's the one thing that we've never done. That, that was like one of that our... Was the, that was that the, was the game That one. was the video gaming bit. Yes, yes, that was, yes, correct, correct. Uh, it was uh, Pone Jury, where it was, just, it was going to be nothing but footage of Justin getting his ass handed to him in some first-person shooter. Yeah, it would basically just be me playing a game that I was bad at and just talking ungodly amounts of shit and uh, getting the fuck kicked out of me and being profane and hilarious about it. So uh, one of the questions from the chat room is, is Colleen the warden? No. Well, that, the answer to that is no. But we should, um, we do got to credit the warden for shaking things up and for Colleen, setting Yeah, us... Colleen was gone from Twit by the time that the warden stuff happened. Uh, and the, the warden, I mean, I, I really don't want, because the warden, I, I, I realize, has kind of a negative connotation that I think that the reason why we kind of kept the warden anonymous is because we kind of wanted to have that, like, oh, fucking the warden says we yep. need to do blah, blah, blah. Yep, yep, when yep. really the advice that the warden gave us was really good. <laughs> really good, really thoughtful. And the warden listened to several episodes and gave very specific, extremely helpful advice, uh, among which including uh, taking a whole hour on a bit that you don't know if you're going to like the whole time. It's like you just give up. But if you know that that if you're not digging this part, it's going to all change in five more minutes is a, uh, is, is a big help. Yeah, okay, uh, people are saying, uh, Colleen, Lisa, or Eileen, the warden. Uh, Colleen, uh, Colleen was gone, Eileen was not there yet, and, Lisa uh, wasn't on yet. Lisa, Lisa was, Lisa was there. Lisa was in a position of power at that point. Okay. Uh, of, of ultimate power at that point. So maybe um, Lisa was the warden. <laughs> but no, I mean, uh, you will notice that there was a point where we went from one bit a show to three bits a show. And then eventually it went to two bits and a musical cast. Um, and so that was, uh, that was, uh, you know, the, the opinion that, that the warden had in the warden. Yeah, we can't verify that it was OMG Chad. OMG Chad was the warden. OMG Chad went from (laughs) assistant to the warden. Um, but yeah, no, it was, uh, it was, it was a big deal because it was somebody who you would not necessarily expect to like our show who, took a real interest in it and really saw a lot of potential and helped us kind of shape, um, shape, uh, shape what it is. And I think it's a much better show. Since, oh yeah. Uh, way, since way better. Was a part of it. I wish, I wish we had more. Uh, holy shit. We have a top 10 album. Yeah. What are we, do we have? Is it 10? We're 10. <laughs> do you know what they call the guy who graduates last in medical school? Doctor. Doctor. <laughs> and that's us. Holy shit. We have a Down top. on a buffalo. On a buffalo. Oh, we shove it right up Adele's fat ass. Who? 